USA, AMD has APUs that can finally gain. Microsoft developed their own GPU, Nvidia's new tech is terrible, and prices on the newest GPUs are falling. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, we have a huge story on AMD's upcoming Ryzen APUs. Remember that AMD announced their Ryzen 7040 series back at CES. These were AMD's APUs with their best integrated GPU, the 780M, which comes with 12 RDNA 3 CUs. Well, the reviewer ETA Prime was able to get their hands on an ASUS Tough A15 gaming laptop with the Ryzen 7940HS, which comes with the 780M, and he was able to put it through its paces. Actually, the review is about that integrated GPU, and let's just say if these come to desktop, they're going to be game-changing. As you can see, in multiple games, the integrated GPU was able to get playable frame rates at 1080p. We're talking it got around 70 FPS in Cyberpunk 2077, though at medium to low settings. Still, that's a very impressive feat, especially given the reviewer only had an early driver that clearly wasn't ready for prime time, so they didn't have an actual launch driver to test. Yet it's still did this good. Basically, AMD's APUs are finally at a point where they can replace lower-end cards. All I can say is please bring these to desktop. But first, with inflation still really high, you've got to cut costs where you can. Luckily, you can get an incredible VPN service for just $1.83 a month with today's sponsor. Atlas VPN, the VPN I trust to protect my data from prying eyes. For those who don't know, a VPN disguises your virtual identity by rerouting all of your internet traffic through an encrypted tunnel. But Atlas VPN actually gives you so much more. For example, you can get past geo-restricted content on places like Netflix so you can watch your favorite shows, even in 4K. They also block malicious links, ads, and even trackers, so you know you're safe anytime you're online. And you get all of this across all of your devices with the single subscription. You just can't beat that. But let's pretend in some magical fairyland you don't like Atlas VPN. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no reason not to try. Just visit my link in the description to get it all for $1.83 a month for three years with three months free. Once again, visit the link in the description below. Next up for today, Nvidia could soon be in trouble, as news just dropped that Microsoft has been developing their own chips for AI. The chip is codenamed Athena, and the company has apparently been working on it since 2019. To give you an idea of how big this business is for Nvidia, TrendForce estimates that demand from ChatGPT could require a whopping 30,000 of Nvidia's A100 GPUs. Yeah, we're talking their high-end A100 chips, so Microsoft coming in to make their own could cause a a serious issue for Nvidia. Apparently some Microsoft and OpenAI employees already have access to the GPUs for testing, and the company is allegedly planning to make their AI chips available more broadly to OpenAI and Microsoft as early as next year. Basically, Nvidia may need to step up their game if they don't want to lose some big clients in the future, and that's of course why competition is so important. Hopefully this AI race can have a big impact on faster gaming GPUs as well. Time, as always, will tell. Next up, we all know that Nvidia's new push in the market is their path tracing tech. The company recently released their path tracing SDK for developers to enable the feature in their games. Shortly after that, Cyberpunk 2077 became one of the first games to support path tracing with their new RT Overdrive mode. And as we saw in that announcement video, the hit you take on your FPS is massive. We're talking well below 30 FPS on the 4090. So the question becomes, is path tracing worth it? Well, in a new article from Tom's Hardware, they answer that question. And let's just say there's there's a reason Nvidia only compares it to ray tracing off. In the article, they share a video that compares the new overdrive mode to ultra ray tracing. And as you can see, it's not that different. Of course, there are some areas where RT overdrive is better, and Tom's hardware admits that the built-in benchmark doesn't show the best differences, but overall, the game looks very similar to ray tracing ultra. The issue is that it looks similar while completely obliterating your GPU. As you can see in their benchmarks, the 4090 gets a 
pathetic 21.4 average FPS at 4K. And even with frame generation, it only gets to 39 FPS with 1% lows at 30. The 4070 at 4K, even with frame generation, gets an average of 12.6 FPS. And even at 1080p, the 4090 is the only GPU that gets over 60 FPS without frame generation. Luckily, with frame generation and performance mode upscaling, things get a bit better. But when we compare that to RT Ultra without patch tracing, we can see that especially the lower end GPUs get a massive boost. I mean, the 4070 gets nearly a 50% performance increase. Simply put, path tracing is a very intensive mode. Now, I will say that the reason it looks so similar is likely because CD Projekt Red put a lot of work in adding the things regular ray tracing can't naturally do. So other games could see a much bigger difference, but it's clear that regular ray tracing can very closely approximate what path tracing does with way less of a performance hit. If anything, this looks to simply make game developers' lives easier, but at a huge cost to gamers. And lastly for today, I do have some good news. According to a new report from Igor's lab and later reported by Tom's Hardware, it looks like Nvidia's brand new RTX 4070 isn't selling all that well. So much so that Nvidia is apparently in talks to give a $50 rebate to AIBs, meaning we could soon start seeing 4070 cards move down to $549 instead of $599. In fact, according to the report, some 4070s that were originally made to sell above MSRP have already dropped to $599. Not only that, but in Europe, the 4070 has already gone on sale for 40 euros below MSRP. So it seems this is happening already. Plus, let's not forget the recent sale that saw the 7900 XT drop well below MSRP. Now, according to the story, board partners are having an issue getting cards out at MSRP. Apparently, that's why the lower end models, quote, almost always seem cheap and carelessly implemented. It seems board partners aren't left with a lot of headroom from Nvidia. Still, given the prices are already dropping, they will likely drop more with this rebate. They're allegedly planning to wait until the 4060 Ti is out so they don't cannibalize the cheaper card. But this is still great news. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for GPUs to come down in price? And what do you think about Nvidia's new path tracing tech? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Atlas VPN down in the description below. And as always, have a great day!